as screen recorder. Recent app. Hello everybody, and in this video we'll be having a look at all Python browser and Phoenix browser side by side on the Huawei T5. So that is what we'll be doing in oh, in this video. Before we continue, subscribe to my channel and like my page in the description. Now you may have heard of Phoenix Browser before, because I think we have tested Phoenix Browser before, probably on one of my older devices. But again, because we have the T5, we can do two-in-one videos which is where we utilize the split screen capability of this tablet and we can show browsers side by side so again that leads to a more efficient way of reviewing these browsers oh, it doesn't look as though this app does support split screen view Oh, we'll, we'll probably have to look at Phoenix Browser on its own. So, again, I do apologise for that, but sometimes and in rare occasions, apps don't support split screen views. So, again, that's something you've got to take into account. I'm not too sure whether you've noticed or not, but the app seems to be in portrait mode. And again, it doesn't stick to your system preference because I like using this 10.1 in landscape mode since, again, it's a little bit fumbling, fumbly and heavy in portrait mode. So that's something you've got to take into account when installing this browser on a 10.1. Now you've got some sort of a briefing up and it says try it now but you've only got one button which assumingly is the try it now button but it would be nice if you had a no button so it was an option to assist you with downloads and file management and all that not so again this browser doesn't really present itself like a browser in the fact that it says about file management and downloads so again, that's going to take some people by surprise. Videos, music, three, WhatsApp, phone boost, selected tabs, two bar, selected oh, me, downloads, me, selected files, tap tap tabs. Normal. I think this browser is trying to be a little bit sort of too helpful, if that makes sense, where you can manage your files and your video downloader but the name is Phoenix Browser and it should really stick to you know Phoenix to a browser theme as opposed to you know trying to be helpful by managing your files and that again and also that can be very confusing to you know users as well multi underscore container This Stuart Baker Google search unlabeled. Stuart Baker Google search. Stuart Baker files. I think the best thing to do is to actually cut this video and we'll be back. We'll be back with you. Alright then folks, we're back with you now and I did have to go through a few processes to get the menu up and again, even this menu is a little bit confusing so let's go through it now Right, so you've got book, book, right, you've got sign in, toolbar menu, 
and all the other browser things that you would have until you get the files my video my music and you've got ad block and again the ad block should really be with the browser things or probably should be in the settings now the dark presumably is the night mode which again filters out blue light to you know so it doesn't hinder the production of the sleep hormone melatonin so that is why it got dark but again dark is otherwise known as night mode so again it should really stick to the tradition of being named night mode because again it's less confusing for other people settings, and you've got settings exit. and you've got exit, exit. Now, surprisingly, the settings is in a landscape, and again, if the app is in portrait, you would expect the settings to be in the same orientation, but the settings is not, so again, now that is even more confusing. You've got home page. Which again, you might really, you might really want to sort out because again, there isn't really much of a home page on this bit of everything browser, shall we say? <laughs> and you got about Phoenix and all that lot. So again, there's no accessibility section in this browser at all, which is really bad. And also, I think the navigate up button is unlabeled as well. Which doesn't really help things at all. Now let's see if we can bring up the address bar. This is, I think, such a. This is a real nightmare browser. Yeah, I think the best thing to do is to sort of conclude this video rather than sort of faffing around. In conclusion, the Phoenix browser is, again, sort of. You know, it isn't what you would call a browser. It's sort of, again, a little bit of everything. Which again is quite bad considering that it's called Phoenix Browser and people would obviously install this browser because it's a browser. So they wouldn't expect a little bit of file management, a bit of app cleaning and you know other things. They expect it to be purely a browser. So that is that. The browser also has an annoying habit of presenting itself in the notification section and with it other notifications of its own so first of all the browser will probably present itself as a quick search icon but will then present other data in the notification section and again that is very annoying so you know that is number two the address bar is very hard to find on the browser and also the app doesn't stick to your system preferences unless you're in the settings then it goes into whatever orientation you either desire or your system preferences if you have set the orientation to landscape to prevent the auto rotation from, ta from taking place well my advice would be not to go with this browser of course probably use Chrome, Firefox or Kiwi browser unless you are a Fire Tablet user and if you are then feel free to check out our Dolby Atmos compatible browser playlist. Right so I hope this video helps, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos to come, we'll see you soon.